She belongs to Marge Martin, you know, from the Arbor Society. Well, she left her with me when she went out of town this weekend. She's adorable. Ellen, this dog has to stay here today while we're gone. I just don't think I can leave her alone in my house. I mean, it's not pet proof. Now, your house is a dog house. That's right, Wanda. It's specially designed to maintain the comfort of dogs, namely me. Well, that'll be fine. She and Wishbone will have fun together. Goodbye, Penny. Try not to pick up any of Wishbone's bad habits. Hey! Bye, Wishbone. Bye, Penny. Be good today. Well, Penny, I'm delighted to meet you. My name is Wishbone. Uh, fine, thanks. How are you? You know, I usually don't entertain company. If I'd known you were coming, I would have put on the good collar. So, this is my house. Oh, come here. I'd like to show you my favorite chair in the world. Please, make yourself comfortable. Um, not that comfortable. Well, here we are, and you're just sitting in my chair. You don't talk much, do you? Now we need something else to do. We need fun. We need an adventure. Hmm. Oh, I know. Want to play pirates like Tom Sawyer and Huck Finn? I'll be Tom Sawyer, the Black Avenger of the Spanish Main. Do you know that story? Tom and Huck hid out on Jackson Island to be pirates. It was only three miles from home, but it seemed like another world. Ah. I'll tell you, Huck, this is just the life for me. Pirates don't have to get up mornings and wash and all of that blame foolishness. I've never done any of that anyhow. Even before I turned pirate. Tom, how long do you reckon we've been pirates? A day and a night. Think anybody misses us? You missing anybody, Huck? Of course not. Don't got nobody to miss. <gasps> What's that? Ain't thunder. Let's find out what it is. Now, somebody's drowning. That's it. They done that last summer when Bill Turner got drowned. Shot a cannon over the water, make him come up to the top. Huck, I know who's drowned. It's us. Us? They think we're dead and drowned. We're heroes, Huck. We're famous. gathered here today to mourn the loss of Huckleberry Finn and Tom Sawyer. <laughs> their goodness, their nobility, their promise is gone. Loss to us forever. And we ask ourselves, if they were with us today, how could we treat them better? That's our cue, Huck. We ask ourselves, how could we have made their precious little lives a little easier? We ask ourselves, 
Oui. something put your heart into it see what I mean Huck there's nothing like being alive at your own funeral ah Mark Twain's definitely one of my favorite authors that's just one of the exciting stories I know. Come here. Penny, I even know a story about people who can fly. It's about Baba, Moana, and the spirit of freedom. In America, our people were made to forget that they ever had wings. The slave owners made them drink sorrow and fill them with shame to block out our wisdom. But Baba and Wana hid in the woods and tended the wisdom plants. The plants grew very slowly. One woman remembered a little. Her day of freedom seemed like a dream. It's not a dream. Hold on. How long, brother? Soon, sister. Soon. Finally, enough wisdom had grown for Baba to make a medicine. I need to visit the fields to pass this out. They will be watching. Leave everything to me, Baba. I'll clear the way. Do you forget how to work? Ha! How would you like to pick on someone who can fight back? Come on, give me your best shot! Touch me if you can! Hey! Baba! It's begun. The time has come. I'll keep them running. While brave Wana led the overseers off, Baba slipped into the field. He gave the woman some wisdom and whispered the magic word. Zikiliza binti yangu. Fungwa moyo na mbwaba. Zako. Zitaota. Listen, daughter. Open your mind. And your wings will grow. As he spoke, Binti felt the glow of the ancient wisdom, and she rose into the air like a bird. Fly, Binti. Fly! You ain't going nowhere. What's that? That is a brand new day. It's the old man. Stop! You can't stop us. Freedom will come! I heard that story. Homer Vincent told it to me himself. Wait, I've got a memento. Let's see here. Ah, here it is. Hang on. Ah, ah. Here's the poster from his performance in Oakdale. I helped with the design. And here's the program. Pah, 
You know, I've got a lot of great stuff under here. Want to see more? I'll take that as a yes. Let's see here. Oh, this is good. Here's Joe's Encyclopedia of World Records. Yeah. His dream was to set the record for consecutive free throws. It seemed impossible, but he tried anyway. Just like Don Quixote. Do you know about him? So, are we there yet? Fortune has smiled upon us. Look yonder, Sancho. Huh? An army of outrageous giants. I will fight and overcome them all for the honor of my lady Dulcinea El Taboso. It will be my first great victory. Um, maybe I'm missing something here, but what giants? They're right in front of us. Those creatures waving their enormous arms. Uh, I don't see giants. I see windmills. I tell you, they are giants. Stand back while I engage in dreadful combat. Don Quixote? Stand, cowards! Fly not from this single night! Uh-oh. couple of cracked ribs, at least. Don Quixote! Are you all right? I told you it was a windmill. You can't fight with a windmill. You don't understand, Sancho. Some cursed enchanter changed the giant into a windmill in order to rob me of my glorious victory. Well, you win some, you lose some. I must get up and go looking for the next adventure. <laughs> but there's one problem. What's that? <laughs> I don't think I can get up. You don't need to. Just walk this way. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I... My helmet. Destroyed in battle. I vow to replace this shattered helmet with a better one. Hmm, a good helmet is hard to find. They just don't make them like they used to. Mark my words, Sancho. I am the knight who will recapture the golden helmet of Mambrino. Yeah, Sancho Panza was Don Quixote's best friend. Joe's my best friend. Come on, I'll show you our room. Well, watch your step. So, this is where we sleep? Oh, there's a picture of Joe right up there. See? See the cute little puppy? It's me. <sighs> oh, I remember that dance. Joe and his friends were having a hard time getting along. Just like Elizabeth Bennet and Mr. Darcy in Pride and Prejudice. Don't you agree? Uh, yes, quite. It is your turn to speak, Mr. Darcy. I talked to the dance, and you ought to make some kind of remark about the size of the room. Or the number of couples. Your sister will dance with just about anybody, huh? I guess you prefer to criticize everyone. I have heard all about you. Well, you don't believe everything you hear. May I have this dance? Why, Penny! Such grace! Such poise and rhythm! It's amazing that dogs like you and me never get invited to parties. Speaking of, let me tell you about some party animals with no manners. They were Penelope suitors in The Odyssey. <laughs> Where are the suburbs? More wine! <laughs> I am 
am setting a challenge before you. Whoever wins this challenge will be my next husband. Oh. <laughs> and so you finally decided to forget about Odysseus? I'll never forget him. This is the bow of Odysseus. Whoever wins this contest must be able to send an arrow clear through these 12 battle axes. Nobody can do that. Odysseus could. There stands the challenge. May the best man win. Well, I'll do it. No! Me. Everyone must be given a chance. Please, sir. Go ahead. Well, thank you, Sonny. Okay, boys, watch and learn something here. The trick is to keep your eye on the axis. Ta-da! <laughs> okay, boys, the party's over! This dance? Hello? Oh, that looked like it hurt. Oh, he's gonna be feeling that one in the morning. Oh, look, all your little friends went away. Yeah, those suitors were a bunch of scaredy cats. Now, you take a dog like me, for example. I'm not afraid of anything. I would face any challenger. Just the way the brave knight Ivanhoe faced Sir Brian Dubois Gilbert. Dog of a Saxon, prepare for the death thou hast drawn upon thee. It is the judgment of righteousness. To his keeping I commend myself. Rebecca, I do defend. <laughs> You have to do better than that! Allow him vanquished. My victory is acknowledged. Free Rebecca! That's me, fearless. What was that? A strange noise. The only thing that makes a strange noise is a strange thing. What if it's the most famous strange thing? The scariest science project ever! Frankenstein's monster. After months of exhaustive research and intense preparation, Frankenstein was ready to test his creation. This 
This is it. The moment I've worked so hard for. Will I be able to infuse a spark of being into this lifeless thing? Is this the first step toward mankind's victory over mortality? Here goes everything. will be my finest moment. Come on. Yes! I've done it! I've done it! What? What is this? What? <laughs> Girls. It's coming from in here. It smells okay. Do you see anything? like Joan of Arc and her friend, Louis. Louis, you're my best friend. We've sat under this tree and told each other many secrets. Now, I must tell you something I've not told another soul. Great! You know I love a secret. France will be rescued and made great again. Mm, but don't our soldiers run away when they see the English coming? Our soldiers will soon trample the English underfoot. We will face the enemy. And we will win. How? I will lead them. I am the one who will lead the armies of France to victory. Wow! Aren't you just a little bit scared? I am. But I won't let fear keep me from doing the right thing. Okay. I'm with you, Joan. This may be the last time that we ever sit together under this tree. No matter what happens, let's never forget this place. Our place. So this, as you may have guessed, is the kitchen, and down here, oh, down here, is my food bowl. I can't complain, Joe feeds me pretty well. Sometimes I even get seconds, mm-hmm. But I didn't realize how lucky I was until I read about poor Oliver Twist. It was a flea-bitten life for poor young Oliver. He was sent to live in the workhouse, which was sort of like being sent to the pound. There was never enough to eat. And the stuff that was around, yeah. You see, Oliver was an orphan, which means he was a stray with no collar and no ID tag. Yeah. All right, this is it. I am a dog on a mission. Watch me, boys. Follow my lead. Hey. Yes. Please, sir. I want some more. What? I want some more. Hey, work with me here. Throw me a bone. Anything. This is unthinkable! 
You're going out. Uh-oh. Forever. Uh, uh, fasten your seatbelts, ladies and gentlemen, in the event of an emergency landing. Woo! No! We're home! <gasps> Joe! Joe, 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 Joe. Hey, buddy. Well, it looks like Penny's okay. Did you and Wishbone have fun today? Speaking on behalf of Penny and myself, we had a ball. Thanks, Ellen. Sure. Bye, Joe. See you later. Come on. We'll see you later. Morning. See you around, Penny. Bye, Wishbone. Thanks for telling me all those great stories. <clears throat> Call me sometime. What? But I... Did you... A talking dog?